Jillian, if you can hand me the next one. Today we were an team artwork for the AP Art Show, which is going to begin this Thursday. The show is kind of modeled after the AP exam that they'll be taking in May. And for the AP exam, they need to send to the college board what they consider to be their five best pieces overall. So for this art show, I've asked them to hang what at this point they consider to be their five best pieces. When it's your own work, it's kind of like they're your babies, right? And they have to kind of let that aside and think about, okay, just in terms of technical skill, what are the best quality pieces I have? Some of them know right away, oh yeah, I have no problem picking out, yeah, these are my five best. But others really have to give it a, a little bit of thought. In school, they do a really good job at promoting like our art pieces and the art classes. I think a lot of people don't recognize how much time we put into the pieces, so having it up and people being able to recognize our hard work, it feels kind of just satisfying. And also I think, especially in AP art, we're doing a lot of concentrated pieces, so there's a lot of artwork that has like meaning like deeper meaning to the artist. Even just having a room dedicated to art means a lot to me. Just being able to be like, hey, I ran out of paint, can I get some? And they're like, yeah, take it. They really do put in the effort to make sure that we have the products and like the items we need to feel comfortable to work with our art. My art class has really brought like community because there's time to work, but you can also share like your emotions like through your pieces, but also like when you're explaining to people, oh, I painted this for a reason, you're kind of giving them some information about yourself and then it creates those bonds. And so I think a lot of people are just like, oh, it's a class, but it's a, it's a great place to develop relationships.